campaigning for a Victorian real energy target. A few years ago, when Tony Abbott was on the hustings, um, you know, going out there telling everyone that wind farms are going to make you sick and that attempting to destroy the renewable energy sector, we knew that we could make Victoria a, a safe haven for renewables. So Tony Abbott's cuts to the National Renewable Energy Target, they saw about 2,500 people lose their jobs. The investment in the sector dropped by about 90%. It was a really you know, terrible moment for the renewable energy sector. It put a massive handbrake uh, on climate action in this country. So the last few years, we've been getting out and talking to communities all around the state um, speaking to groups like the Mass and Rangers Sustainability Group who are, um, you know, have a long-term vision to set up a community-owned wind farm in their own community. And groups like Totally Renewable Yakandanda who have set their own renewable energy target of 100% by 2022. And what we, what we realised through this time is that while our, while our politicians are failing us at the federal level, the community is leading and the community has its own vision. And what we what we tried to do is say to the Andrews government, look look to these guys, they're the ones that are leading, and you can lead like them as well. And so, after a few few years of extremely hard work, um, thousands of tweets, uh, hundreds of letters to the editor, um, visits to wind farms, visits to um, wind, wind tower manufacturing facilities, um, lots of blogging, and yeah, just being with politicians and, and putting renewable energy on the agenda, we're now at the stage where the Victorian Renewable Energy Target is about to be voted on in state parliament. It's a historic vote. This is the only policy beyond 2020 that's actually going to see jobs and investment in renewable energy grow in Australia, and it sets the bar for the nation. So I think as Victorians, we can be really proud that this is where our state is heading. And I just feel really, um, really, like, proud that uh, I got to be part of this campaign and, and to learn from some amazing campaigners. So what else have we learned today? Matthew Guy, his, his vision for Victoria's energy future is one based in the past. He's here and he's, his policy is basically, let's keep coal open. What does that mean? It means he's effectively writing a blank check to coal flitters. It means that companies who, who run coal-fired power stations that are, that are aging, that are, that are about to, to with the knowledge that a massive guy um, government, if they were elected, would basically do anything that they can do, anything in their power to keep them open. Now that's a risk to communities in terms of health impacts. We already know that people in the Latrobe Valley suffer asthma at higher rates than other um, other places in Victoria. Um, we already know that coal-fired power, you know, produces greenhouse gas emissions that harm our climate. Uh, but it's also a risk to taxpayers. In, in WOI, in Western Australia, the Mugen coal plant, the government spent around $300 million trying to refurbish that coal plant. Um, the Hazelwood coal plant, it would have cost around $400 million to, to fix that up just to keep it going, with no, no guarantee that that was going to continue supplying energy into the future. Now that's just unacceptable for, um, for a leader in this day and age. So, this week, the historic vote on the Victorian Renewable Energy Target is going to be um, debated in state parliament. Uh, the community will be watching closely, will be watching closely, and I hope you, you will be too. Uh, and, and Matthew Guy, if, if you do go through your pledge against the Victorian Renewable Energy Target, the community will be watching. This will be recorded in the history books, and the choice is with you. Will you be a climate change blocker, or are you, you going to listen to your own constituents? So, thanks for coming today, everyone. Um, hang around, have a chat, and yeah, if you want to come along to Parliament later in the week and watch the debate, get in touch. But yeah, thank you. All right, guys, we're about to wrap up.